Welcome to my life as an NPC. I am Carbon Scythe, and today we are going to continue to play Coffee Talk 2. Go Goobly Labs to fight the invasive lionfish by releasing killer algae. Okay. UFO spotted by special National Guard fighting fighters this morning. Is Neil making a comeback then? Always change your OTPs. Government advice on preventing data leak leaks baffles everyone. Advice on preventing data leaks. Data leaks, data leaks. Uh, not sure if that's mean anything, but this feels aqua related. They are going to rela uh, could be a political thing for aqua, honestly. And this is about Neil. There's an eerie atmosphere out here to, out there tonight. Feels like night for old friendships. And new acquaintances. Two weeks. Hmm? Is anyone there? Ah, you need to... Wait, does that... No, it's the uh, bubble, uh, talk bubble. I thought it was wearing a tie at first. And it's blue and yellow eye. Cool, 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 cool. And also I should fix this. Let's see here, options. Take speed should be instant. Yes, I like instant. Background music, ambiance. This is good. Now, now nothing will be weird in the edits as well because I do know that some of the edits uh, sound strange in episode one and two. There's a reason for that, and that comes back to the fact that I had to edit the living crap out of those videos. So the original files are a bit mishandled at the moment, honestly. But now with these uh, settings changes, I hopefully, you hopefully don't have to, don't notice them as much. But yeah, there's a cat here. That's important. But before we talk to the cat, let's check in our stories here at Tomoda Chill. <gasps> Lua, does that mean, yes, she is showing up today. Uh, 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 Biz development dev lead at Discovery National Capital. She looks kind of old here, and kind of uh, long-faced, I don't know. But uh, we have no info, and so, uh, but stories, <laughs> Just finished today's dance practice, I'm all sweated out, but my coach said that I've really improved lately. Yay! Can we look at her picture? No, we cannot. Good for you. Party drinks, restocking new schedule due to new regulations, cut off order time at 1, shop closes at 1.30, delivery from Bellevue. So she's working at a bar. By the way, what does uh, does your phone battery suck? I've been using this power bank in the past month. Click the link for info. T.chill slash Lucas on. Hashtag chill and hashtag pick of the day. Pick of the day, that's so bad. Iced Baileys. Quality work comes with a price. You can't ask for a thousand dollar quality and ask to pay a hundred and fifty dollars. Respect the people you decided to work with. That is correct. Uh, to the most part some people I, I don't have any experience of it myself but some prices are insane and I do understand that you need to um, charge for whatever you're worth but some prices are insane and uh, yeah that is just a dif difficult balance I just stopped these young fellas uh, for drunk driving, so that's a lesson for y'all to keep your spirits in control. Good. Good, Georgie. 
just found out coffee honey and milk drink is not a meal replacement that happened yesterday good for you it's nice when things are commu communicated properly yes yeah, good good on you this thing is an art and an I, I often take for granted. Oh man. Dude, see, they have been working things out. Good, good, good. But I... I had to press them? God damn. Why though? I can't read it just fine. No, sorry. Uh, hello? You give me a start. You're an Ecomimia, right? We're going to transform in a second now. Meow. Wait, is that a special effect, Sally? God damn it. At least we don't have the dot 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 dot, which is what I was trying to get rid of. Or maybe not. Oh, hey! Hey, Carbon. And hey, new customer? Oh, she looks so pretty. Meow. <laughs> no, that's for Gepi to... No, I don't know that, actually. I don't think so. I don't know. Hi, Miss Lua. I don't think this is a coffee drinking sort of cat. No, it would appear not. Do you have a new pet cat, then? I'm not quite sure. This is my first time seeing this little one. Are you sniffing me, kitty? Do you want cuddles? This uh, kitty does not want uh, pets. Pets does not want to be cuddled. All right, all right, no cuddles. <laughs> Cats. Indeed. I wonder if it's lost, but doesn't have a collar, so it might be a stray. It's cute though. Would make a nice mascot. Ah, I would think that's up to it, not not up to us. Cats. Right. Anyhow, it's ah, been a little cats. while. Cats. It has. Last time we saw we saw you was well over a week ago, wasn't it? What have you been up to? Honestly, mostly work as usual. I won't lie, I'm pretty beat. Did you just leave the office? Yes, but in my defense, I spent the last hour looking at wedding dresses on Tomodachi. Well, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? It's not... unfun. <laughs> hmm. That's a moderately enthusiastic response. How are the wedding preparations going? They're going... Uh... Oh, they're going up. I might need a drink before I answer that. You soon look like you could use something warm. Something warm and Something cozy. Something warm and cozy. Yes. That can be a Milky right. and soothing with just a bit of warm spice. <sighs> I'm going to hit my pillow soon, so something that will help me sleep. And I can see you have snazzy new ingredients. We have blue pea and hibiscus now, indeed. That sounds interesting. I'd like to try a hibiscus then, with milk and warm spice, please. Hibiscus, milk, and warm spice. What is warm spice? Oh, we have uh, more stuff here now. Uh, hibiscus, milk, and warm spice. The only spice I can think of is ginger, but I'm not sure if... Uh, spice previously with uh, uh, myrtle was the cinnamon. So let's try that first. Pink spice, oh my lord! 
Ah! Oh! Okay. Trash it, but let's see what else we can make. Yeah. And there we go. Mm. Mid change. Eh, eh. Mm -mm. That's trash. That needs to be trashed. Mm. We are making the fancy drinks here. Pink spice. Suck it. Meow. Oh, poor kitty. Did the machine wake you up? <laughs> it's uh, responding to her. Here goes the mascot. Maybe it'll come back later? I bet it will. Cats always have reasons for their actions. Even if they're often rather mysterious ones. That's true. Anyway, anyhow, here's your drink, Miss Lua. Oh, this smells lovely. It also has a lovely color. <laughs> and it tastes lovely. I knew I could count on you, Carmen. <laughs> You're always a sight for sore taste buds or something. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I love it. She's so, she she really aged. She really grew up since the previous game, didn't she? Right. So the wedding preparations. You and Mr. Bayliss are still getting married, of course. Oh yes, absolutely. After everything we've been through, I'm not about to back down now. Bailey's is still very much my person. With the long ears and all. So none of those pesky cold feet. That sounds like good news. No cold feet and no cold anything. In fact... My stress is running so high, I feel like I have steam coming out of my horns. Right, that is something I completely missed in the first game. When she got upset, her horns would glow red. Uh, so I, that was something I completely missed uh, in the first game, honestly. Which is sad. And also, now that I'm talking, let's talk a bit more. Uh, we have the brew pad here with... Uh, the pink spice, a smooth but spicy draw, drought, drought, warm and refreshing at the same time. And now we have Lua. October 2nd, votre ami est un passage. Passage choisi. I do not speak French, I completely butchered that, I believe, but it sounded kind of French if you don't know French. Yeah, so it kind of sounded like French at least. I have. I did read about it. This is apparently the beginning of a poem. So that doesn't sound like good news. Yeah, it's just such a big thing, you know. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yesterday I was at a concert, Sabaton, and I got the and the um, uh, uh, acts before it was uh, Lorde, L Lorde, Lorde. And the baby metal, the baby metal shirts were out of uh, order, uh, out of stock. But I got a Lordy shirt and I got a Sabaton shirt. Uh, the concert was the tour to end all tours. It was completely amazing. They were doing fireworks, it, no, not fireworks, but pyrotechnics inside of Avicii Arena in Globen, Stockholm. It was absolutely amazing. But enough about that. I can talk about that some other time. I feel like that's all we talk about. But we're not making much progress. We're not further along than we were weeks ago. Do you have different expectations of the day? I don't know. I'm not sure I even know what my expectations are anymore. I look at all these weddings on Tomodachil. <laughs> now that can be a dangerous activity. And they all do this special over-the-top yeah. stuff. No. That's something Bayliss might enjoy, but I believe that he also would like to have a simple wedding um, and 
go back to the basics kind of thing. He is a photographer and an artist, of course, but he still enjoys the simple stuff in life, kind of. I don't have any original ideas like that. What about Mr. Bailey's? He enjoys creative endeavors, doesn't he? He does, but that's another issue. <laughs> My parents are willing to pay for part of the wedding. And I earn a good living, so I can cover most of it. Bay wants to contribute his share, but he can't really afford it. Am um, I supposed to read that as Bai or Bay, since his name is Bayless? And as you know, his parents aren't in the picture anymore. Right. Do you, do you still feel guilty about that? No, I don't think so. Well, that's good at least. If I've learned anything, it's that you need to let the people you love make their own choices. That is correct. You gotta let them fail and all that thing, all those things and when they need your support you have to be there for you don't have to be but if you can be and you want to be then that's the time to be there for them but i am concerned both about bay dropping all his savings on this stuff and about him trying to guess what i want rather than expressing his own wishes it sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself trying to make sure everyone's happy Maybe. But I guess that's unavoidable, right? Ah, yes. Here we go. Oh, hello! Neil? Ah, is this the first time Lua sees Neil? Well, I know it's not Neil, but whatever. Mm. Is this the space person you told me about weeks ago? <laughs> Okay, so it's only been weeks since the first game. Really? I might have to look that up. The one who used to come to the cafe? I thought it might be them, but I'm not sure now. They didn't seem to react to my greeting. Besides, last time we saw Neil, he had changed his name to Silver. And he looked rather more human. I see. This is all very mysterious. Also, did you hear them come in? I didn't. But then I rarely do. They're stealthy. Bartender, what does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? Yeah. <laughs> How about you say something? Pour me a stiff one. Okay, beg your pardon? This isn't quite that kind of place. Isn't it? A research indicates that this is the way one should order a drink. <laughs> Stupid aliens. In a place of public consumption. <laughs> it sounds like your research was based on orc westerns. <laughs> orc westerners? Westerns? That's awesome. How did you know? Is there anything wrong with orc westerns? The writer enjoyed them. <laughs> no, I guess not. They're just very different from reality. In what ways? That... Hmm. It would take a very long time to answer that. I guess the better question is, how are they similar? How are they similar? You did say that it was a better question. That's fair enough. I suppose the honest answer is, the way people feel emotions is similar. How they're ambitious and have dreams, it's so how very... they want things and sometimes get jealous of others, but also how they help each other out, and how they fall in love. It sounds like Earthlings have very busy feelings. 
that is very true. I guess we do. Are your people very different in that respect? We are. Oh, and also I, uh, as uh, my friend Gepi is doing uh, this one's voice, um, and it will not be this voice that I did for Neil last time, uh, because I was, I, I mean, I was caught off guard and it was just silly and stupid, but whatever. Uh, you can hear Gepi, and uh, she has a very nice voice. <laughs> Also, we want things, too. But it appears that Earthlings have at least 94.3 to 8% more emotions than we do. Oh. Almost double the amount of emotions. Or is that 94,000%? That would not be surprising. How do you distinguish between them all? Hmm. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes we don't. Reading others isn't easy, nor is understanding ourselves, for that matter. That adds some... spice to life, I guess. It sounds to us like it would be helpful to have those emotions displayed. Especially in movies. <laughs> yeah, you do enjoy movies, Perhaps you? you could write them at the top of the screen? No, no. Cinema from the 1920s would certainly agree with you. <laughs> don't, don't make fun of her. But pardon me. You're not Neil, are you? Or Silver? Indeed, we are not. Our name is Amanda. Amanda. So there are several of you here on Earth? There are a great many of us everywhere. Our average density is 3450.45 okay. per galaxy. How the hell do we have 0.45 of you? Oh, right, because it's just simple division. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so it was uh, almost twice as many emotions, uh, 94%, not 94,000%. Uh, yeah. But this is not the topic of our present conversation. No. You wanted a drink, didn't you? We do wish to absorb some liquid matter, yes. I really hate your fingers. Why do you have... I know you, that is how you consume drinks, but I hate those suction cups. Or hobbles or whatever. Freak me out. Another gaseous cloud and... Uh, in the um, uh, sentient nebula. Someone did comment that. Sentient nebula, but I don't know who that was. Was that someone on the subreddit? Similarly to what the purple earthling has been doing. <laughs> the purple earthling! The purple earthling? That is certainly a <laughs> description. Is it wrong? Would be more accurate to describe you as the for appendages earthling? Do you mean my horns and my ears? Uh, Miss Amanda. Miss Amanda. We usually avoid addressing customers by the numbers of by the number of their appendages. Oh, I apologize. But we cannot address the, poor, the customer by name, as we do not know it. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. That's my bad. I'm Lua. Lua? 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 <laughs> Lua? 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 Yes? It has a very pleasing sound. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you. We wish to absorb some liquid matter, as Lua has been doing. Are we gonna make a Milky Way for you too? Of course! And do you have an idea as to what kind of um, liquid matter that might be? Something bright colored and memorable. Bright colored and memorable. 
So one of the new drinks. Want our first drink on Earth to be an experience we shall never forget. <laughs> no pressure, Carbon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not at all. It's quite all right. We, we were born to rise to this kind of challenge. <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> I'm not sure that's true, but sure. And uh, any other ideas, Miss Amanda? We want the taste to be very spicy. Very spicy, which means two, uh, two cinnamon. We know that some places serve weak drinks. To be pets with female denominations. Weak drinks to female to to buy pets with female denominations. Uh, this, this is still not uh, alcohol. Our research has determined that behavior to be undesirable in 99.9999% of occurrences. So let's not skimp out on, uh, or let's not di dilute your experience. You will get the full experience. Fortunately, this isn't that kind of place exactly. either. This isn't that kind of place. Indeed. So you'd like something vivid and spicy. What if it was, let's say, blue and gingery? We don't know what gingery means. But blue and gingery sounds good to us. Blue and gingery, and we want it very spicy. So what does this give us? Blue lightning looks amazing, but because I remove... <laughs> Got rid of the dots, uh, the printing machine sound effects. I'm not getting the sound effects for this either. That's heartbreaking. That's so much of the charm for this game that you always are fiddling with the machine. A blue lightning coming right up. This is vivid indeed. Now let's try it. Hmm, this is interesting. We heard that we might struggle to experience taste, but we can certainly feel the kick of this. <laughs> Your repetition was well deserved, Carbon. And what kind of reputation is that? Sounds like word is getting around. Soon this place will become a hipster den. Mm, don't <laughs> I like should that. probably start looking for an alternative haunt. I hope not. I would miss you a lot, Miss Lewell. Besides, isn't that what a hipster does? Go to places only before they become cool. Touche. Got you there, didn't I? I guess you'll be stuck with me a while longer. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, Miss Amanda. What was that about my reputation? We heard about you from our sibling formerly known as Nail. I see. Sibling, huh? This isn't a future hipster den. This is an alien den. You should consider rebranding as Cafe Close Encounters. Ooh, Cafe Close Encounters. That is actually not a bad name. That makes it sound like a... Uh, Rather different type of place. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you here, Amanda? Let's check here what we have. Yeah, we got the blue lightning, of course. There we go. And Amanda. <laughs> no info. <laughs> oh, jeez. Silly, silly game. Please define your question. Do you mean here on this planet? That too, but also here, in this cafe. We are on this planet on a research and a rescue mission. Is that like a search and rescue? Perhaps it is a mission to get our numbers for research, as well as to rescue our sibling. We are in this cafe to wait for them. We made an appointment, as is the custom here. They should arrive in 2 minus, 3 seconds and 12 milliseconds. Please pardon the roughness of our estimate. 
roughness of the estimates. Three minutes would suffice. That's more than good enough. You are very kind. Carbon has mentioned your sibling a few times, I think. Silver, right? Indeed, we are a part of the same hive mind. A hive mind? That sounds pretty amazing. But doesn't that make appointments less... useful? That would have been true some time ago. But Nail, now known as Silver, is becoming more human by the day. Their connection to the hive mind grows tenuous. I almost feel a little lonely. Yeah, that's my response. To lose your connection to your family when you've been so close? All oh, right, she is all about family. God damn. She just cannot catch a break with these family breakers, huh? Hmm, perhaps. What does it mean to be lonely? It's, uh, when you think about other people and they're not here, and that makes you sad. Explain sad. It makes you feel like you have a weight on your chest. Like things that usually feel good to you lose a lot of their appeal. Thank you for your explanation. We think we see. We do not know. Perhaps it is a little lonely. We cannot answer this with more than a 61% certainty. That is good enough. There he is. Hi, everyone. Hi, Amanda. Speaking of the space person, here comes my former regular. Ah, I apologize. I haven't been coming by often enough lately. Hi. I'm Lua. Nice to meet you, Lua. I'm Silver. He is, uh, um, he's, he's really catching on how to be human. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Have you? You probably pictured me in a bigger suit. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, yes. A bit like your sibling here. I understand, but I've been undergoing many changes lately. I let go of the suit. This form makes me feel truer to who I am now. I also changed my name for the same reason. Silver, though, is, it is a very interesting name choice, all things considered, considering uh, that they are what, what they are, honestly. He went with Neil because uh, he was emulating uh, the first uh, astronaut from Earth, which was also Neil. Um, Amanda here, don't know why she show, they shows this name, but Silver is, I, I guess he uh, could have simply become more human as time went on, and just felt that Silver was a good name for him, or that he more um, felt that he was not gold, he was because that was something Neil was struggling with. He was very um, set in his ways, very structured, very literal. That's the word, very literal. So, question is, is Silver a part of his old ways or a part of something new? I don't know. Have you been waiting long, Amanda? Not unduly. Not unduly. <laughs> they have nothing to talk about, damn it. This is a bit awkward. Just a bit. Amanda. Yes? You should know that. I have been missing you a lot. What is miss? Is it like being lonely? Yes, it is. 
When did you learn what lonely is? We have been told that is the name of the feeling we have when we think about you. That's... I... I just... Bring it in. Bring it in? God damn, he's become human. Bring what? Oh. That is one long hug. So cute. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Why did we not get... Okay, of course we don't get to see that because they don't do difficult um, or complex images in this game. Which is sad, uh, but it's... But, but this is, looks absolutely great. Uh, as the game is but just uh, letting us know that there were hugging over there in the background too bad that we didn't get to see as it as we were saying we appreciate your being only three milliseconds late <laughs> it's good to see you haven't changed you have and yet you haven't now that you are close, you feel part of the hive again. And your presence is similar to what it always was. Makes me really happy to hear that. We should order a drink, as is customary. <laughs> then we can proceed with our discussion of the mission. The mission? Oh, didn't Carbon tell you about that? Not really. Well... The reason I came here in the first place was the final love. You mean to reproduce with a local species? <laughs> you mean to reproduce with a local species? <laughs> That's another way to put it. I think I remember you putting it in those terms yourself, Silver. I did, yes, but that was a long time ago. Okay, so time is... Just the construct in this game, because we were talking a few weeks ago about marriage, but this was a long time ago. I don't know where to think about all of this. I'm going to tell you everything. But first, Amanda's right. I'd like to order a drink. Of course. I can taste them properly now, so I enjoy them a lot more. <laughs> You're pointing at his tongue. Happy to hear that. What would you like? I'd like something new and unique. New and unique? I want to explore all these new sensations. But nothing too strong, please. I don't have the same tolerance as before. Also, I'm in the mood for something a bit sweet and floral. Sweet and floral. So, and not too strong. So I'm thinking hibiscus and blue pea, obviously, and milk and honey. And maybe with a bit of freshness to it? Okay, so out with the milk and in with the mint. Something new, but not too strong. A bit sweet, floral and refreshing. Maybe blue. Oh, I do love blue. Something sweet, floral, refreshing and blue then, please. Beef gift, uh, what did we say? Floral, yeah. Uh, mint. And, so, and honey, right. Something. Let's see what we get from this. Otherwise, we have to change the order of the mint and honey. Mint, honey, blue pea. Yeah, that's the wrong thing. Trash it. Something sweet. Something floral. Something refreshing, which is cool, I would say. And something blue, which is the blue pea. How about this order? There we go! Yeah! Now look at it, it is so pretty! One bright flower bed for the silver person. This definitely looks unique. I can't wait to try it. Oh, oh yum! Happy. It's delicious. <laughs> Drinking through my mouth makes such a difference. 
To be honest, I never expected to like it this much, but now I can never get enough of it. <laughs> I have to say that the instructions for making the drinks in uh, this game is much easier than in the first one. Maybe it's because now I understand how things work better. Um, but also after watching um, Gab Smolders uh, play Nancy Drew games, uh, I've learned how to um, uh, how to understand uh, what they mean with the words they use. So we want something very spicy means we need to use two of that for example that was one of the puzzles in the Nancy Drew game I believe it was in the Witches of Salem or some kind of game something named like that uh, but yeah so maybe it's because I have more experience but I do feel like it's easier to make the drinks in this game as well drinking through the glove does look uncomfortable <laughs> it's a very different experience. Not entirely unpleasant. No, it's also nice in its own way. But it doesn't convey taste in the same way a mouth does. It's much more about the sensation, which definitely makes it intense. But I'm happy I get to drink Carbon's creations the way they were intended. Well, thank you. As for the mission, well, before you start talking, I want to check in here. We got the new drink. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. In here. And silver. And you don't have any updates either. What the hell, boy? Unacceptable. Yes, the mission. It has run into some difficulties. Difficulties of what nature? Well, you're looking at it. I should not say more than that. Well, <clears throat> the truth is, I still have some trouble finding myself a date. Oh. What is a date? It's a step you need to take before, um coupling up. You meet somewhere, you talk, you get to know the person. Not having a hive connection sounds exhausting. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It can be a challenge, to be honest. But in another way, it's wonderful. Without the hive connection when you meet someone, it's always a surprise. They react in ways I didn't expect. In ways I wouldn't. And every time I learn something new. About earthly species? That too, certainly. But mostly about myself. That's definitely what being with someone is about. Every time you're honest with the person you love. You get out of your comfort zone and become a better person yourself. That sounds complicated. We need to make further computations to understand. It's different from what we're used to, but it's also pretty great. So I'm wondering, he was getting close to the high mind now that he was back with Amanda. Can't he just upload uh, all of this knowledge? Sure, it's not going to be enough, but it's going to be a lot of help. I mean, it sounds to me like you've got it figured out. Surely your date should go well enough. Lua, please, just because you can um, uh, find the perfect ma man almost right away, if you read her backstory. Um, but uh, just because you managed to do it right away, does he mean that everyone does? Thank you. You're very kind. And if I may say so myself, I think I've made some progress. Good. If I did get a date, I think it would go better than before. What's the problem then? Well... It's the getting dates? Getting parts? 
Thing is, Seattle's a very big city, even by our standards. Everyone is busy running around. And people aren't very trusting, not like in romantic movies. You can't just ask someone on the street to go on a date with you. It sounds like you tried. Yes, I tried several times. I even stood on the plaza for a few hours with a date me mm. placard around my neck. <laughs> that is... Um... Not an optimal strategy, yes. I've realized that <laughs> since. People mostly seemed a little scared. <laughs> I hear most people meet their partners at work. Is that something you could try? You don't Maybe have a work on. job, do you? Uh, I don't know. But at the moment, I'm afraid my work doesn't attract the right sort. I didn't know you found a job, Silver. Ah, uh, yes, I did a few months ago. I've decided to open a cafe. I'm sorry, what? You are a competition? Out, boy. <laughs> Really? Does that mean carbon is competition? Not at all. I would never want that. It rather feels like a small way to start a family tradition. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, after I tried all that, I was running out of ideas. So I decided to reinstall Lonely Hearts, like I did when I had just arrived here. Online dating does sound like a reasonable solution. I thought so too. But the amount of dates I've gotten since I downloaded it is... Based on the surrounding parameters, we'll guess. Absolute zero. Jeez, Amanda, thank you! That is accurate. Oh no. Do you know why? If I'm being honest, I think I have an idea, but it might sound strange coming from me. The online dating process feels a little... No, it feels a lot. Hmm. Strict, stiff, stay... Alien. This alien. Please expand your explanation. Do you mean it lacks earthly species? <laughs> oh no, it has earthlings in all shapes and forms. But it feels impossible to connect to them. I was much more successful at it when I first tried months ago. When you first tried it months ago. Okay. So it's only been it's been maybe a year since the first game. But now, it's a little like how my connection to the hive mind has been recently. I'm a part of it, to some extent. I feel like if I can just reach out to it, I'll find understanding. But then I do reach out. And I only find silence. That's sad. That's... Pretty sad. Sorry, I'm making everyone gloomy now. No, don't worry about that at all. I'm just wondering if I've got friends I can set you up with. <laughs> well, gee, thanks, Lua. But they all have partners. You're very kind, Lua. I'll find some sort of way, eventually. It's pretty important that I do. It's an existential issue for some people. Help. <laughs> I don't know. I really appreciate your offer, Amanda, but even after spending years here, I still struggle with it all. I do not... Okay, I'm going to assume that you've been here on Earth for years before coming to this place. Or are you somehow capable of time travel? When I first arrived, it was hard for me to even hold a conversation. Now I think I can read people a little better, but it's still... 
You are not looking for conversation yet, are you? You wish to connect to a hive mind. And you found it easier when you first arrived. Is that not what you said? Yes, that's true, but... We're a hive mind and we have just arrived here. We will help. It does sound reasonable. I mean, it's not that bad, um, in theory. I suppose social media can be a bit like a hive mind sometimes. And there's no harm in trying, right? Well, then I guess that's settled. I'll show you how the app works when we leave here, Amanda. We are prepared. We will get our intelligence and draw conclusions with our hive powers and your human knowledge. Based on your previous experience and your new skills, we estimate our odds of success at 100%. That's a bit... Uh, th th those odds are pretty good, uh, but very unlikely. <laughs> I like your confidence. Amanda hmm. always was a force of nature. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know true. what that means, but it sounds complimentary. We are pleased. As for... Wait. You're not saying anything, are you? That is... We have to go. Now. What? But... What happened? Ugh. I'll explain everything later. What is going on? Did, did I did I blink as it happened? I don't know. I don't see anything wrong. Sorry, Carbon, Lua. See you soon. I hope. We. No time. Let's go. I am kind of confused. <laughs> well, that was odd. Yes, that was a rather sudden departure. I hope they're gonna be alright. Ah! That explains it! And uh, yeah, I'm going to do his voice. Good evening. Evening, Mr. Agent. You two know each other? Yeah, he's a fire bastard. The agent here has been asking about our customers in the past. But I trust tonight he, he's come for the late night coffee. Sadly, no, I am here on official business. Sounds serious. It is. Very serious, miss. Lua. Miss Lua and Carbon. You know why I'm here, don't you? Well, if it's not for coffee... Honestly, I'm at, I'm at a loss. Is that a, how you want to play it? What about you, Miss Lua? Want to make an educated guess? An educated guess? Well, I swear I filed my <laughs> tax return months ago. She's good, she's good. I did bays at the same time, so that can't be it. I have no clue. You too. Do you take me for a fool? <laughs> yes? We would never! Let me make myself clear then. Have there been alien sightings at this cafe recently? Alien sightings? Sorry, but that sounds kind of far-fetched. Think again, both of you. Think carefully. If I were you, I wouldn't tell any lies. This is getting old. Mm. We didn't do anything wrong. And we don't have to answer any of your I questions. I kind of hope that this is the uh, ex-fire agent that was mentioned in the news uh, previously. I hope I managed to get the news on the screen. 
um, in the edit because I can't cut off uh, before that happens, which is sad. So uh, I have to record uh, the newspaper, the evening uh, news, uh, in a in its own uh, video file. Actually. Actually, nothing. I know my rights. You have no jurisdiction to come here and act like a big shot. I've never seen anyone in this cafe who doesn't belong here. So I suggest you to take your suspicions elsewhere and leave this place and Carbon alone. My investigation? Your investigation means nothing to us. I can feel myself getting angry, Mr. Agent. Oh, like I said, I completely missed it again. And trust me, you do not want to see me angry. What can you do, Lua? <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> hey, don't you dare put your hands on me. I didn't know such thing. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Chicken shit. I'll go for now, but this isn't over. Very well. I won't stand by quietly while aliens invade Seattle. Suit yourself. You'll only be wasting your time. I'll be the judge of that. A good night to you. Lua, my hero! Lua, that was impressive! Well, I may be on the quieter side, but I'm still a succubus. I'm glad you're my friend and not my enemy. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't like to antagonize people, but I guess sometimes it can't be helped. Yes. I wonder what that guy was really after. He's, he's an alien immigration agent. He's been after Silver, Silver for a while now. Back when Silver was called Neil and looked like Amanda. That doesn't make me like him anymore. <laughs> I came very close to clipping him in his smug face, to be honest. Even if I didn't touch him in the end, despite what he thought. No, indeed. You didn't touch him. What do you mean? Seems like an important ID key card. A shame if someone were to lose it. Ha! Well, the agent had this on him, and um, now he doesn't anymore. Naughty Carbon. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> This certainly is an interesting looking ID card. I'm sure someone creative could find good uses for it. Huh. Yeah, how are we going to use this? Because we're not leaving the cafe. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> well, I guess you have some time to consider what to do with it. And who to pass it on to. Hmm. Indeed. Anyway, this shook me more than I'd like to admit. I I'm so sorry. It's really not your fault. But I'm going to go spend some time with my fiancé now. Which will be all of 30 seconds <laughs> before I start snoring on his shoulder. <laughs> hey, that sounds pretty good. Say hello to him from me. <laughs> will do. This agent looks like he's going to be trouble. A seemingly important ID keycard. But tomorrow's another day.
Dreaming blue, this mesmerizing and earthy latte, latte imbues you with calmness and serenity on sight. And that is it for today's episode. Um, it was really long, actually. Uh, sure, I am dragging it out by uh, not pressing enter as soon as I read it because I have to make space for everyone who's doing their voices. And so I've been recording for well over an hour now. Oh, not well over uh, one hour two minutes um, and uh, but I am really enjoying the results so far still have to tweak a bit here and there uh, every now and then but it does it does come together in the end I believe uh, so I'm hoping you've been enjoying this uh, video and the previous ones and if you want to see more of the things that I've been doing I will uh, you'll, you will see a couple of playlists uh, down below and uh, remember just because you're not the main character doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.